Hey guys, welcome to episode three of the Dev Dojo Journey. Today is May 20th, 2022. And in this series, I basically am totally transparent about all of the revenue, the active paying users, and everything that goes along with uh, building Dev Dojo, and hopefully trying to get it to at least 10K MRR this year. So in this video, we are going to talk about the stats updates, and then I'll also cover a few questions from the last video. So let's jump into it. Okay, so as of today, there are 57,418 people who have signed up and created a free Dev Dojo account. So that is super cool. Then we have, let me jump over to the current active paying users and we have 703 paying users, which is very cool. I think last week we were at about 694. So that's definitely an increase. And like I said, it's kind of a roller coaster. It kind of goes up and down based on paying users, but hopefully in the long run, it is at least slowly progressing to like increase in numbers. So then we have the total revenue and I think we're at now $7,261 month to date. That might be down a little bit from the last week, but like I said, these numbers are going to kind of fluctuate. As long as they don't, aren't drastically dropping, then we know everything's still working. We're still kind of heading with this uh, upward momentum. Then let's take a look at the analytics. So right now we're at about 23,000 users for the week, but uh, after the end of today, it's going to be roughly around the same. We're doing about 25,000 users uh, per week from the analytics. So that is the basics of the stats updates on Dev Dojo. Let's jump into a few updates. Okay, so the team and I have been working on this new version of Tails, which is going to be a full site builder, uh, design tool and component library for Tailwind CSS websites. So this week I was actually working on, it's super cool, I'm excited about this. Uh, kind of like a responsive view. So if you're here and you're kind of editing and designing a site, you can then click on the responsive menu up here and you can see which uh, size, which breakpoint that your site is currently at. So as you move down and scale the design, you can see that the breakpoints will tell you exactly uh, you know which breakpoint that you're at. So this is cool because if you're used to Tailwind CSS, you know that you can easily add these classes that you can make the text green. And then once you go down to like a medium screen size, you can make the text blue right here. And then if you go down to a smaller size, then you can just have make it have a default. Um, so that is super cool. You can then come here and you can change the screen size just by clicking on the button. You can say that you want to see what it looks like on a medium screen size on XL and all these different screen sizes. You can then choose to zoom in, zoom out. I probably have a little bit more editing to do with this because I want you to be able to scale the site to any size. So that is one part which I am super excited about. And the other part is I've been working on the pages. So right now you're just on the home page and you're editing the home page for this site. But technically you'll be able to go over here to pages and you can see that you have this home page and you can also have an about page or you can add a new page. And then you can link these all together and it would essentially be a Tailwind CSS site builder. So you can click on the about page and then you can have a completely different design here. We could come over here and add some more designs to our about page, probably add a header here that says about, and then add some more information about this page. Uh, we could then click on the gear icon and this is where you're going to be able to edit the title and the route for that specific page. So there are some modifications that I need to make here. This needs to look quite a bit more pretty, but this is kind of what I was working on right now. You'll then be able to save these updates and then you'll be able to add a new page as well. So I am super excited about releasing this new version. I think a lot of people are really going to enjoy it. And I think it's also going to help with uh, the active paying users and then prevent uh, the amount of churn that people have been uh, doing on Dev Dojo. So that is a quick update on some of the stuff that I've been working on. Next, let's jump into a few questions. Okay, so I think each week I'm going to field some questions that people left in the previous video. 
So if you wanna see your questions answered in the next video, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. So this week there was one question that I actually got from uh, Ian Felix. He says, uh, topics for next videos, ad spending, social media content, creation progress, dev dojo on TikTok. So as far as ad spending, we are spending $0 on uh, ad spend, uh, just because we have enough organic traffic coming to the site that we don't really need to spend much uh, money on ads. That could possibly be a uh, thing that we do coming up soon, maybe in a couple months, I'll try $500 on advertising and see how well that converts. But I think for right now, uh, I'm just going to not do any ad spend and just with the organic traffic coming in, it allows us to easily get a lot of people viewing the site and then hopefully um, you know, becoming customers. Uh, as far as social media content creation progress and dev dojo on TikTok, uh, I actually just created a TikTok, so possibly you will see more content from the dev dojo TikTok. Also make sure to include the link to our TikTok below and uh, you know, don't have any content on there right now, but hopefully I'll start adding some content there and you can always follow us on Twitter, uh, twitter.com slash T-N-Y-L-E-A or twitter.com slash the dev dojo. So those are all the questions that we had for this video. Uh, again, if you do have some questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I look forward to seeing you next week.